Hey all and welcome back to another scenery tutorial. My name's Luke and today I'll be creating this fantastic looking hedge using some basic materials and very easy to follow techniques. If you're modeling a row of houses or a park, a hedge like this might be just what you're looking for. It's very easy to make and basically anyone can get similar great looking results with little effort. So let's get started and make a hedge. To make up the main structure of the hedge, I'm using coconut fibre basket liner from the hardware store, but you can also use furnace filter material or even rubberized horse hair, which is quite popular in the UK. Next you'll need to stop in at the hobby shop to pick up some materials. The base texture for the hedge is Java Scenics Mid Green Scatter. It's a very fine sawdust material and up close it resembles very fine leaves. And finally, you'll want a bag of leaves. There are a number of brands available. I've previously used Knock and Tremendous, but for this hedge I'm using MP Scenery Products. Basically, I like this colour, but any brand will work just as well. And as you can see here, the MP Scenery Products leaf material is much coarser than the Java Scenic Scatter, but they really work well together. To start preparing the hedge, I cut the coconut fibre basket liner to the length and height that I want for my hedge. For this example, I cut the basket liner 10cm long and 3cm high. For very long hedges, you can simply press two hedges together after they have been completed, which I show towards the end of the video. The basket liner I used had a thin layer of fibres on top that were bound with a layer of glue. I want my hedge to be a little rough looking so I peeled the very top layer away to reveal the loose fibres underneath. Now I start to tease out the fibres to create the width I want. This is quite a large hedge, so I teased the fibres out to approximately 1.5 to 2 centimetres. Remembering that the process of adding scatter to the hedge will also increase its width slightly. To prevent spraying glue all over your hands, and also have complete control when applying the glue and the leaf material, I impale the hedge onto a skewer. Now I can use the spray adhesive and give the entire hedge a coat of glue ensuring I cover the entire surface. Next the Java Scenics scatter gets applied. I'm not overly concerned about getting complete coverage as brown patches can often look good for older unkept hedges. I then shake away the excess before giving the hedge another coat of the spray adhesive. This final application of the MP Scenery products leaves is where the real transformation happens. In a similar fashion to the previous step, I apply the leaves over the entire hedge. Once you're happy with the coverage, shake away the excess. If you're not entirely happy, you can always reapply the spray adhesive and apply more leaves. Some of the larger fibres can be easily trimmed while the hedge is still on the skewer. Then it's just a matter of removing the hedge and applying it to the layer. On this diorama, I've already glued some of the hedges in place. I just need to fill in this small gap. I found Mod Podge does a good job of holding the hedge in place, but any white glue should work fine. Now just fit and press the hedge into position. This one was a bit of a tight fit, but the good thing about this type of hedge is that it's easy to bend and manipulate into position. I then use the skewer to press and blend the fibres together, and lastly I trim away any random strands that look odd. Once you're done, it should look seamless. Well, that completes this tutorial on making this fantastic looking hedge. Did you manage to spot the collie four times in this video? If you did, be sure to let me know at bouldercreekrailroad.com. Cheers and thanks for watching.